Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video because of an experience that I had today when I came home. Um, but then I also just wanted to talk in general about my experience as a blind person in Uber. Um, and I've made videos about it before, have written posts and stuff like that, but it just continues to astound me how... I guess, like... How ignorant people are of blind people and i don't care what your nationality ethnicity like whatever is just like the amount like i i have seen people or people or level of education too they just kind of completely freak out when there's a blind person around like no one knows what to do so today i was hanging out with my niece and sister on the uber ride over when the driver got here i called him i was like hey i'm blind can you assist me to your car he was like okay sure and, you know, it was a relatively painless situation. However, on the way back, my niece walked with me to the car. Okay, now I'm in the car. And as we're driving, the driver goes, when we get to your destination, will you have someone to assist you? And I was like, no, I just need you to help me to the gate and that'll be fine. I was gonna say the sidewalk, but it was dark and there were like trees around the house. So I was just like, you know, it's, it's also easier. Also, in case he didn't drop me outside of the right place, um, the drivers always tend to drop me um across the street oh hey i forgot to make a disclaimer about this barrel over my right shoulder so i live in a caribbean household uh <laughs> we send barrels back home and our tenant um has just finished like packing hers and yeah so <laughs> there's nothing i cannot move this it is full and you know yeah so <laughs> i know my aesthetics are a little different so um, but yes, so anyway. Anyway, so I tell the driver to just walk me to the gate and he says, okay. Once we're actually to my home, he's like, I don't remember exact, his exact wording, but he was like, oh, is someone going to assist you? Is someone going to help you? Or are you going to call someone? I don't remember exactly what he said. And I was like, no, just help me to the gate. And he was like, oh, uh, and he muttered something. And then he proceeded to call. And I, I think I heard him say something about a call. And I was like, is he going to call me? Because there's no other number he has. And he does. He calls the number on the Uber account, which is my number because it's my Uber. Because I am a capable adult who can schedule Uber rides and make accounts and all of that stuff. And so my phone is ringing and I'm holding it in my hand and I know that it's Uber and I... I just kind of like, I didn't know what to do. I was recently talking to a friend before um, creating this video and they were like, you know what? You should have answered and been like, hi, you know? Uh, so you could just help me to get to the gate. <laughs> and I was like, I should have. And I kind of thought about it. I kind of thought about answering. I kind of thought about being like, uh, sir, you're calling me or something. But I just, I, yeah. So I didn't answer. I let it go to voicemail and he muttered something again. He's like, okay, well don't get out yet because so the GPS had dropped us across the street and um, he was like, and there, you know, there are cars driving by and so then he opens the door and um, I step out and he's like, okay, don't move, don't move yet. And I was like, okay, okay. I also, see, I see the headlights, I, you know, but whatever, it's, it's, you're nervous, blah, blah, blah. And so we're walking and he's like, be careful. Okay, be careful. Don't walk so fast. Don't walk. And it's just like, and you know, so we finally get to the gate and he's like, are you okay now? And I was like, yes, I'm fine. Thank you. And you know, that just kind of pretty innocuous of the experiences I've had, but I've had other people who, uh, my first ever lift ride, I told the guy that I was blind and he was like, okay. And then he got there and he's looking for me and I was like, hi, I'm blind. And then, you know, I'm standing outside of a bank with my cane and he finally sees me. He's like, oh, I didn't believe you. And I was like, what? I've also had someone else, you know, they told me that they'd be at a specific uh, corner, like the Northeast or Southwest or whatever corner. And I got there and then I was like, hey, can you look out for me? I'm blind, you know? And he was like, I don't see you. And I was like, neither do I. And I was like, okay, can you honk your horn? And he was right in front of me. And he's like, oh, you know, how can you travel by yourself? And I was like, you know, well, I I am and he's like well you know you couldn't even see me and I was like and I didn't say this and I thought about it belatedly but I was like neither could you you did not see me either I've had people who you know because of the language barrier didn't understand when I was like, trying to explain that I was blind I've had like I think a driver like you know I was trying to explain that I was blind and stuff like that that I needed just like assistance to the car and they ended up canceling my ride um, 
the only language, the only other language I have is Spanish. Um, and so I know how to say that I'm blind in Spanish. And even when I said it to like one particular driver, he was still really confused until again, I end up telling them to honk and I find the car and it's fine. But it's, it's really frustrating how many people, you know, just are kind of just draw a complete blank when they hear blind and they're like, whoa, this can't be it. This can't be the case. You can't be doing this. You're whatever. And obviously I get this in other instances, you know, when I'm walking by myself and people grabbing me and assuming that I need help or telling me, you know, did you know, that, you know, this is the four train when they get off. And I'm like, I've been on this train for however many stops now. Um, I think I know. I've heard it, even if I don't know what stop it is, I've, I've heard the computer, the automated voice the entire time saying all of this. Or when I'm going into my school and they're like, oh, is that the right way? Are you going the right way? Or, you know, things like that. And I, so I guess with the Uber, it still shouldn't be necessarily surprising, but it, it doesn't lessen how frustrating it is, how frustrating it is. My cadence, my s syllabicize, the way, the syllable, the way that I placed the emphasis on the syllables of that was weird. <laughs> But anyway, so there's nothing there's nothing to say. I mean, I guess like please be open-minded about the blind people you encounter. I think it's okay to offer assistance, but you know, be respectful and and realize that you don't have to speak slowly, you don't have to speak loudly, you don't, you know, or or blind people just because of that one blind person who couldn't do whatever or could do everything, you know, each of us is not the same and if there are any Uber drivers, you know, don't not believe the person, whatever their disability is, because it just, it seems so strange. Like that is such a strange thing to lie about. I did have another Uber experience a few days ago. I was heading to the doctor and I was like, hi, I'm blind. And the guy, you know, it, he, he understood. He came and assisted me. And then when I got to the doctor's office, he assisted me there and it was great. It was just like a nice seamless interaction. And I, I really value those. I feel like I don't make enough videos on, on those interactions where it's just like this, this was great. This was amazing. This person was not annoying or frustrating in some way. And I feel like I should, I should make more, but for right now you have this complaint. I hope that it serves to, you know, as commiseration or validation for some of my fellow blind folks and, and or disabled folks and their experience. Um, and also just like a lesson, like, hey, you know, I'm not lying about my blindness or I am capable to anyone who are Uber drivers or in some sort of helping customer service, service industry type thing. You guys know what I'm saying. All right, till next time.